Hi everybody, I hope everyone's having a great day. I just wanted to come on and make a quick video. And um, show y'all how I've made these paper clips. If it'll focus. And um, should be able to come on, make a video at least once a day. Um, we, my family has moved out, um, got their own place, which is lovely, and uh, very happy for them. And we've moved, and I've got my own little craft room now. The only issue I, I have is my two-year-old grandson sometimes comes barging in. There's no way for me to lock it, so. And even if I did lock it, he'd just sit and bang on the door. <laughs> so, should be cranking out a lot of videos now. Just if I can come up with stuff to make for y'all. It's not going to focus. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all how I make these. Oh, oh yeah. And I got some that are made just on vellum. But, of course, the first thing you need is some paper clips. You're going to need some strips of colorful paper. And I already have a drawer here that's full of a bunch of them that I've already cut out. But we're going to cut some more out. Let me just admit, let me mute my phone. No. Um, going to need some little words. Um, I got these words and these words. If you want to put words on them. Um, I've got some little rub-ons that you can put on there. Um, I've got, this one has a little rub on that I put on there. There it goes. Now it's going to focus. Um, you're going to need, like, little pieces of cutouts or little thing, um, like, got this, it says this side up, little hand, um, it's little things you can put on there, and I take these, and I tear them, and use pieces of them, you need little things like that, um, little flowers you can put on them, um, I got this little bucket of goodies, um, people and 
stickers and you know, hearts, uh, little butterflies. Got these flowers that I can spray and put on there. You just, you just gotta look through your stash and see what you can find. I'm running out of room to put stuff. Okay. Um. Let's see. And I got little pieces of cloth up here. In case I want to put some of them on there. Um, those little scraps. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you. Got to move some of this stuff. Show you how I got the little strips of paper. You can either do it with scissors or you can do it with a cutter. I'm horrible with scissors, so I'm going to use a cutter. And I've got a bunch that's already colorful. Um, this is blue and purplish, blue and yellowish. It's not wanting to focus for nothing. You anyway, might got a bunch of different colored ones. So I want some that I can do bow timey. I'm not good with measurements, so don't know how long this is. I just go by this little line I got. But let's see. It's a little under two inches wide. But it also depends on what size paper clip you use to what size you want your paper. Because you want your paper to be able to slide through your paper clip with ease and have a little extra give on the sides. You don't want it rubbing up against both sides. But that's what you're going for. So it depends on which size paper clip you use. Come okay, a few more sl slivers. Okay, that's good. Okay, you want to cut your paper like that. Then you want to take your paper clip. And you've got, let's see if I can get it to show. Of course not. I'm on focus. There you go. You've got the part that has the the two round ends here and then the one round end and then you got the straight end right here you want to put it through that end so you want to stick it between these two like so Let's see if I can get to focus so you can see See how I got it through the bottom end. Okay. 
Okay. Put it through there. Pull it down to however long you want it. Make mine so long. Um, you want to get your stapler, put your paper clip up under it, right on the edge, and staple it. You want to put a staple right on the edge. And then you take a pair of scissors. Cut that off. If you want to leave it like this, you most certainly can. I take mine and cut a little slit right in the center, and then go from this corner to the top, and then from this corner to the top, and make that. show you again. Get your paper clip. Stick your paper through it. Pull it as long as you want it. And you also, when you're going to staple it, see how this one's got the two round ends on this side. So this one I'm going to turn around and staple it with them facing this way. See? So they can go on different sides of the paper. So they all ain't on one side. Cut it off. Almost crap. Cut a slit from corner to top. From corner to top. And you're done with another one. They're really simple, really easy to do. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's this you can save. Um, some people do. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I don't think I'm going to. Just because I'm getting too much stuff around my desk. Okay, and that's how you do the paper clips. Or, that's how you get the paper on the paper clips. And you see, I've already got a bunch of strips cut up ready to be put on paper clips. Okay. So now you want to get paper clip with your paper on it. And do one with the colorful paper and one with brown paper. You want to find out what you want to put on them. Um, hmm. Here. 
it's a lot easier if you don't have to sit and wonder and think about what you're going to put on it. But me, I don't have, I, I've got to sit and figure out what I got and you just want to play around with it. And see what you think looks good. And see, um, where's that one piece? That's all I got left of it. Let's see, cut this, cut that off. Put it down in the corner like this. Okay, maybe I want to put mm. something on top. I'll just use it. No. Blue. You might want to get some distress ink and if I can get it open. Distress it, color it. Give it some color instead of leaving it white. Okay. And some of the some <clears throat> sorry. Some people can crank these out really fast. I mean they can boom 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 done. Um I'm not that lucky. It takes me a minute to figure out, and that's okay. If it takes you an hour to do one, that's okay. If it takes you two minutes to do one, that's okay too. It's all in how you want it to look and what you want to do. Now remember, I showed you, well, if I can find the, I'll go back. There it is. Um, showed you these flowers. Oh, I need it. Blue. I'm going to put one of these flowers on it. And I don't want it to. I don't want to just put a white flower on it, so what I'm going to do is spray it. Dry it. And I got some homemade glitter mist. And I'm going to spray it with that. Give it a little shimmer. That. Now you've got with the shimmer.
Okay. Took a little longer to draw that than I thought it would, but it's okay. My napkin, wipe off my pearl. Now I'm going to put, okay, we got that on the bottom, so you put that, um, about there, um, And what I do, my words fell. Here. No, because that wasn't really. Blah, blah, blah. That can't be too long. Well, here, just got some short words. Put a little saying on it. Glue everything down. Okay. Can't find the glue I was wanting, but I'm going to use glue stick for paper I'm gluing down. Okay, get it down. Then if you want, you can just fold it over. I like cutting it off. Anything hanging, most of the time, if it's hanging off the side, I cut it off. There's a few I've got that I haven't done that. Now before I put the flower on, I'll open this up. Now you can leave it like this and let them be separated. I like to glue them down. I think I'll use glue stick for that too. My grandson's up. He'll probably be coming in here. Okay. Then blew up so I don't stick to nothing. Get glued down. If that's where you want it, you want to put your flower on.
See how simple and easy it is? And it's done. It's not on focus. It says happy. But then you got a paper clip. That's done. Okay. This one was gonna do a little old old time here. Um did I not put it back? I'll find it when I put it. Oh yeah. Uh My niece decided to come over here and straighten all of my uh, inks up for me, which is really sweet of her. But now I can't find my inks I need. Okay, now I'm going to stress around this really quick like. Sorry, this video is getting to be a lot longer than what I anticipated. And now it's going to fumble around for everything. Thought I was kind of ready. But I wasn't. So I do apologize for the video being long. Okay, got that. Throw some ink on this real quick. I put that down. Right like that. I'm not going to distress the butterfly or moth. Glue this down. I like using the matte gel because um, it gives it a little more stiffness. Um, and some of them I like to have stiff. So that's why I use the matte gel. Put this. Sometimes I try to cover on most of mine. I try to cover the front of the um, staple if you can um, cover it. If you don't mind it being there, then don't worry about covering it. Okay, and then. Do 
Do I want to put a stamp on here? Piece of a stamp on here. Just go make this a little plainer. Just go with that and the butterfly. See, like this, the butterfly is going to be hanging off the sides, and that's okay. I'm not going to cut the wings of it. Um, <clears throat> hold on. We're not going to cut the wings of the butterfly. But we do want to find a sand to put on there. A little too big. Mm. Here. If I can get it off. There. simple but works maybe I can get it to go on there didn't realize it was that long too now this I will cut the sand that just works hanging off come in and cut those Leave the butterfly though. Make a wish. I don't know if that's upside down for y'all or if this is. But. There. That's how I do it. Um, I was hoping to make quite a few with y'all, but. Like I said, the video is getting long and don't want to bore y'all too much. Um, but I will come on and make more videos. That I promise um, you will start seeing me cranking out more and more videos. But appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified um, when I upload a video. And... God bless y'all and thank y'all very much. Bye, guys.